side. Georgia's Lieutenant Governor Casey Cago has found himself in a tight race for the Republican nomination. But today he got a boost, an endorsement from Governor Nathan Deal. WSAV's Joanne Merrigan is following the race and is here now with more. Joanne? Well, Ben, the fact that Deal has endorsed Cago probably didn't surprise a lot of people, but there's no doubt that this is one endorsement that Cago really needed. Once the front runner in this race with at least a 10 point lead, Cago is now in a fight for the nomination. One latest poll says that he is now behind. Secretary of State Brian Kemp. It's become a fight to the finish. When are you going to stand up and do your job as Secretary of State? Well, again, you can see that Casey Cagle is lying about the facts. Both candidates have been swinging away at each other, but Monday, Governor Nathan Deal doing his part to give Casey Cagle the edge. I believe that Casey Cagle will be the best candidate for that position as the governor of this state. Cagle, who campaigned in Savannah Saturday and who opened a local office here last week, has been touting his experience as lieutenant governor. Partnering with the obviously governor deal to do great things with the deepening of the harbor. He may see his experience as a plus, but the fact the sitting governor does as well is viewed as a boost to the Cagle campaign. Deal says with Cagle's help, an important economic foundation has been laid in Georgia. And that will be the challenge for the next governor of this state is to not go backwards, but to go forward. Polls may have Cagle neck and neck, but Governor Deal says economic polls mean something too. Poll the people who are making those kind of executive decisions and where they want to go. By and large, most of them have come our way. He has been a governor who has led this state with great passion, with great vision. Uh, to have his trust is something that is truly humbling. Meanwhile, Brian Kemp continues to view Cagle as a career politician with baggage. But if you want somebody that's going to really not be beholden to the special interest and it's going to literally be thinking about putting Georgians first every day, I'm your guy. And Kemp continues to point to a phone conversation secretly recorded in which Cagle talks about passing legislation in order to keep another candidate from getting a big campaign donation. Cagle, meanwhile, says Kemp is taking money from corporations he is supposed to be regulating as Secretary of State. We now know who Nathan Deal has picked. Voters will make their choice on July 24th. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.